and bones. So, I'm trying to adjust this thing. Camera or phone. Hold on, y'all. I ain't trying to put things in your face. Um, it's just like a weird kind of angle. Anyway, anyway, at least you'll get a chance to see the um, outside as I'm rolling through. Um, just got off work. First of all, how y'all doing? y'all doing first of all first and foremost how is my fancy family i know y'all doing good because you're fancy and your family um i know i put that last video up that was the video the last video i recorded in the high rise and it actually took me a minute to be able to edit it and upload it. Why, you ask? Sorry, y'all. I just keep putting my little fingers in your face. I apologize. Um, so, I got some explaining to do. <laughs> I got some explaining to do to you. First of all, this unit right here is everything to me, okay? Uh, I don't really think I'm going to do a uh, review on her. You know, I don't think we really need to do all that because I've been worn her uh, for almost two weeks now. So, I will run the name of her across the screen just in case you want to go and get her. Because she is worth going to get um okay so i know it's lots and lots and lots of questions don't 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 do that don't do that all right y'all so sorry about that but my phone said that it was too hot so it shut me down but anyway i um, want to explain to you what exactly happened why and how I lost my high rise. Okay. So, first and foremost, I was two months paid in advance on my rent. Luckily so, because I got COVID and then I had my broken ribs. Y'all already know that. I think I inserted um, a clip of me trying to explain this to y'all a while ago but I got interrupted sidetracked whatever the case may be I had colonial and still have it I have colonial and I have short term through work so I figured I'm good all I gotta do is have my doctor fill out these papers and the checks will start coming in. I can stay on top of my bills. I don't have to worry about anything, right? Because I'm responsible. I'm a responsible adult. I'm a responsible citizen. What have you. Well, most doctor offices have, doctor's offices have assistants that take care of the paperwork. So the doctor will only have to focus on the care of the patients. Well, my doctor, as good as she is, she was hands-on in everything, including the paperwork. Which means she didn't get my paperwork done, right? So, once the two months was applied to the two months, because I was out of work for six months. Those two months, you know, I lived that out. And then I'm thinking, okay, I really still wasn't worried because I'm like, okay, well, she got, she got all this time to get this paperwork done. I'm still good. No, no. My two months were 
ran out that those two months I, I lived that out um, I had not applied for unemployment because I knew I had my short term so when that wasn't coming through I'm calling, I'm calling, I'm calling, and she never did it, so then she finally got around to doing it, then, um, Cigna, I, I know you guys are probably familiar with Cigna, now known as New York Life, they said that they never got the paperwork, so now I'm like, what do you mean you never got the paperwork? My doctor said, my doctor's office said they sent the paperwork. So we went through all of that, okay? So I ended up just going up there to the doctor's office myself, got the paperwork myself, faxed it in myself, uh, because I have a printer that is capable of doing things like that. So I did that, sent that in, um, she didn't fill out the paperwork correctly, so they had to send that, send it back, or I had to tell her that she didn't fill out the paperwork right. So she sent it back in. She still didn't fi fix it. Then she fixed the part that they said needed to be fixed. Then they saw another part that she didn't fill out correctly. So then it had to go back again. Okay. Well, by this time, I'm looking at almost three months rent behind. Okay, mind you, I didn't, I didn't sign up for the unemployment because you can't get unemployment and get uh, short term. So even though I hadn't got it, I still had to report, and you know. I would still have to report if I was to sign up for unemployment um, that I, I was on short term, right? So I let the office know because I'm I'm like that. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna bring you in the loop. I'm gonna let you know everything. Cause as soon as I went out of work, I let them know. I said, listen, I'm. Uh, positive for COVID because you know maintenance and all that stuff I wanted them to know what was going on so when um, I saw I was going to have problems paying my rent um, they said okay well we know this uh, agency that helps with rent so I'm like okay cool so I Get in contact with those people. <laughs> Long story short, don't you know these people took forever to? And I get the fact that it's a lot. Of, it was a lot of people at that time that was in need of rental assistance. So they were backlogged. They didn't get um, the money over to the office in a timely fashion. They they messed up. They sent a check but didn't send the whole amount that was needed. So therefore, the rental office said that they couldn't take a partial rent payment. So now I have to go back and I have to go to the agency and tell the agency they still need one more, one more month's rent. So by the time they get the one more month's rent issued to the office, I'm thinking to myself, now I can have my short-term money kicking in and get back to pay and pay my, because I knew it was going to be a, a nice size amount check. Now I can get back ahead two months like I was, and we can keep this ball going. No. For some reason, the lady that did the rental assistance, she couldn't understand <laughs> why the office was asking for another month's rent when she had already sent the check. So I explained to her, and once I explained it to her, she was like, oh, okay, because when we submitted it, we were already into another month. Exactly. So, now she wants 
wanted me to reapply girl okay I had to reapply wait 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 my lease was up I was supposed to renew my lease June the 30th <laughs> well because the rental agency was taking so long because my short term disability was taking so long doctor wouldn't release me to go back to work so I'm sitting here with no income coming in right by this time let me see I think my daughter came uh, when did she come I want to say April April she came home I believe she was five months, six months at that time. Anyway, the office sent a letter and said that they were not. Oh, and I tell you, my heart dropped. They said we will not be able to renew your lease and you will have to. relinquish the apartment um, the end of June. June 30. I, I went over there and I talked to them people um, and they was like, no. The office manager, she said, no, uh, we're not going to be able to, Ms. Campbell. And mind you, I'm not, I'm not allowed tenant. She, she said all those things She's like If it was up to us You could stay but it's corporate And corporate don't want to renew The lease because You are just So many months behind Because you know they felt like Okay well dang why is it taking so long For the um, Rental assistant Agency To um, Just send one more month so, you know, they felt like, no, nah, we're not going to take no chance that you're not going to be able to get back on your feet. And I had, I was not back to work yet. I didn't go back to work until June the 25th. So, all this stuff took place in May is when they told me I had to leave. So, I'm staying prayerful. I'm staying steadfast, standing steadfast in the word of God, thinking, you know, everything gonna come through. That check gonna come. Then they gonna say, okay, we well, got the check. You don't have to go. You know, a matter of fact, I even gave them a month's rent. So when the check came, they would have that uh, one month's rent for July. And then uh, once I got my short term money, I was going to go ahead and get them another month. Uh, matter of fact, I was going to go ahead and do two months. So that way I'll be three months in advance. Don't have to worry about rent, right? Okay, well, it didn't work that way. Um, they, they still said no, you're going to have to go. So. Y'all know how I felt about that apartment. You guys know I love that apartment. It was so spacious. So beautiful. Um, had never experienced uh, a lot of the features that they had in there. Like the granite. The bathroom as large as it was. Um, the garden tub. Um, the dual the dual sink in the bathroom the um i've had walk-in closets before but th that that walk-in closet was large I'm, I'm gonna have to say that it was large of course there were irregularities but never excuse me nevertheless i love that apartment right and especially for the price that i uh, was paying so my rent was um, what was my rent over there? Fourteen hundred. Fourteen was it? Fourteen seventy five? Yeah, I don't remember because I don't. Move. So anyway, I was like, you know, 
say fifteen hundred, fifteen hundred dollars for three bedrooms with all the amenities. Only thing that was missing was a fireplace, right? So I'm like, this is perfect. I was an hour away from work, which was cool with me because even when I live in uh, Murphy. I still had an hour drive because I had to take grandbabies to the um, babysitter's house. So that I still did an hour uh, uh, before and after work. Right? So I said, you know what? I might as well go ahead, move to Georgia. Move, you know, move. I was in Canton. So move to Canton. It's still an hour drive, hour 15 minutes. So, but at least will be somewhere where there's things to do. You know? Anyway. Blah, blah, blah. So, had to move. The worst move in my entire moving journey. Okay? Because your girl has moved up teen times. <laughs> I have moved up teen times. And never ever, 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 ever have I had a move like this before. I wasn't able to clean. Um, and the reason I wasn't able to clean, which, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a OCD person anyway, so it wasn't that bad. You know, I didn't get a chance to sweep and mop like I wanted to. I did get a chance to, um, plaster up the the holes, you know, that I made from the TVs going up on the wall and things like that. It was nothing broken. Um, no, no stains. No, and, you know, no, nothing like that. So the apartment was not in a crazy condition. But it just wasn't how I like to leave a place when I move out, right? So I cried. I blubbered about that. I had only till noon to get out on uh, June 30th. I had till noon that day. So, um, it was just myself and my daughter that was doing this move because I couldn't get, get none of my friends. Um, I, I, I just didn't want to bother. My, one of my friends, his back was hurt so I wasn't going to um, bother him and have him to you know, try to help me out this time. So it's just myself and my daughter. All right, I've, I've moved myself before uh, without anybody helping. So I wasn't tripping on that. So that day, I had just a few little things left. So I ended up having to push everything out into the um, breezeway, and then try to get all that stuff onto the truck my the movers that I did get for that last day bailed on me he said he forgot about me oh girl I got another story to tell you about that too okay anyway one of my neighbors um, so sweet uh, Lorraine if you watching hey baby <laughs> but I met this sweet angel when my mom passed away because, you know, she heard me crying as she was walking um, or whatever and she came up and consoled me. So that's how we became friends. Long story short. So uh, she saw us out there trying to get everything done. So she rounded up some, some people, got the truck, they loaded it up, got, got us all together and I moved out. Now, I did not have a place for us to move to. Why, you say? Well, during this time, the uh, random was going to be lifted and evictions was going to Go, go down, right? So, I was racing against everybody else that was in the same situation that my family was in trying to find a place. Just couldn't find a place. Then, 
did find a place, the people I was working with rented the place out from up underneath us. Well, not really. I just didn't meet them. Because <laughs> it was the first come, first serve, right? So, I was on my way to go and pay them the deposit. And lo and behold, all this time, um, the place hadn't rented. So, soon as the, the day that I want to go and pay the deposit, can it be able to go pay the deposit, um, somebody else paid the deposit. So, I lost that place. Then, uh, the account, my account was tied up with these people that I'm, uh, that currently renting from that place I lost had my account locked up so when I found another place that I loved I couldn't put the deposit down on it because they still had me tied in to the first place so I had to call them get them to release me from out of that so I can be free to make the deposit amount Woo, it was a whole bunch of stuff going on with that. Let me tell you about that. Okay? Not now, though. So, found this place that we we uh, are now renting. And, <laughs> y'all, we had to move all the way to Conyers. Now, during all this time, since we didn't have a place stay at the apartment we got an extended stay so we stayed at an extended stay and I'm going to insert this little stupid clip of me acting silly <laughs> and um so we stayed at the extended stay and I picked the one in Alpharetta because I figured you know it should be nice and clean out there in this this area Right. Wrong. I didn't even stay until the 31st of July. I had to get up out of there quick, fast, and in a hurry. So, ask these people to let me move in sooner than later. Um, because the extended stay, somebody brought ro roaches in there. So, the roaches ended up coming over into our room. Right? So, y'all know how I am. I am not about to put up with no roaches. It's time to go. Okay? So, we end up moving out here to Conyers. My drive has gone from 1 hour 15 minutes to 2 hours 36 minutes. Before and after work. So I have extended my work day five hours. So my work day now consists of 13 hours a day. Okay? All because this is the only area that had anything. I, we wanted to move to Stockbridge because my intentions was to not go back to work. Um, Anyway, but you know, God said, No, you need to go on, go on back on over there to that casino, girl. It ain't time for you to come out of there yet. So I said, Okay, I just have to do my drive. Um, so that's what we at. That's what happened. That's what happened to your girl now. At this time, before before I got the place right, I'm frantic. I'm I'm getting scared. I'm getting a little weary because now she getting closer to her delivery date. Originally, her delivery date was uh, the 26th, 27th of September, and um, I t I don't know if I told you guys that we were expecting twins or not, but anyway. She was expecting twins. You know, um, mothers don't go full term with twins, right? 
So I hope I'm looking at y'all because I don't, I have no idea where the camera is on on this phone because it's a new phone. I don't I don't know where I don't know where to, where to look on this one. So hopefully I'm looking at you and I ain't looking off to the side. Anyway, so I'm getting nervous. I'm getting frantic. I'm getting scared. Like honestly, I'm getting scared. Um, just. Whew. Because she getting close to due date, and I'm like, I we gotta have a place to stay in order for these kids to come home. So I I had to just really buckle down and really stay focused on God, stay whatever I had to do to stay in a positive frame of mind. Excuse me, is what I did. So I in, ended up um, every day, every morning, listening to uh, T.D. Jakes. And when I tell you this man did exactly what I needed at that particular moment, and to this day I still listen to him, I'm going to continue to listen to him. Every, every day that I... I started listening to him whatever the video was you know in your feed on your YouTube whatever the first video was that's one I listened to every time I clicked on a video it had a message for what I was going through I kid you not and I mean it, it could have been some of the videos I was watching was 8 years ago seven years ago current it it didn't matter whatever the first one was that's the one that i listened to because it started coming to me that these are messages that god wanted me to hear so that he could fortify my life so that he could feed my soul feed my positivity feed my faith so that I would be able to go through what I needed to go through to get my family in a home. And when I tell you, God made a way out of no way every single time, every time something came up. When I tell you, I had stumbling blocks here, stumbling blocks there. Everywhere I turned, it was stumbling. I said, Lord, let it be your will. Whatever it is you want me to do, let it be your will. Let it be your will. That was my prayer. Let it be your will. If it didn't work, work out, I knew it wasn't God's will. I knew it. And I was so thankful that I was able to just be obedient enough to listen to him, to follow what he wanted me to do, to, for him to guide us where we needed to, to go, you know? And so, um, now at this time, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to now do uh, videos and show you, you know, I'll show you the new place, of course. Um, now, this this place is <laughs> it's not my get down, okay? It's not my get down, but it's God's get down for me right now. So, what God say it is for me to have, that's what it is that we gonna have, okay? And I, I'm going to tell you the truth Two fancy beauty symbols I was in my I told you I was in my feelings When I lost that uh, My high rise And one of the messages That TDJ shared with us Was You have to let The past go You have to let it go I don't remember verbatim About that video but I tell you, I, I got the message. And it pertained, 
I felt like that man was speaking directly to me through God okay and he said you can't hold on to what you lost it's gone so you gotta let it go and I, and I kept feeling so bad I went through a, a period of short period of you know Lord you gave that place to me why would you take it away from me why what did I do what did I do wrong I didn't stop serving you I didn't stop praising you I did everything I, I didn't get the big head because I was living in this nice place I thought I took care of it the way that you would want me to take care of it and I, I just kept going through those things like why would you do this I don't understand why would you do this and my takeaway from that message was I just gotta let it go you can't look back because what God does is he gets us prepared for the next blessing and if you gonna hold on to old things that he trying to pull you away from that 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 harass was only for a season okay it was only for a season my season is up for that place though the place that we are in now is not a place that I would have chosen but it's a, a place that I'm thankful to be in because it could have been worse it could have been worse it could have been where we didn't even have money to even go into the extended stay so I, I had to start looking at things like that and I had to start being grateful and I had to remember you've been homeless before at least this time you're not homeless technically because when I was homeless the first time I, I didn't have no money to stay in nobody's hotel nobody's extended stay nobody's nothing I had to stay in my car so I had to have a little sit down talk with myself and tell myself you need to be grateful for the blessings that God has given to you. Because your little black butt could have been out there on the street with the grandkids, with your daughter, with nowhere to go. Because y'all know I wasn't going home. I, 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 no, I wasn't doing that. And so, once I get myself because I, I even took that same ungrateful attitude to the new place. And for a long time, I wasn't motivated to uh, put anything away. I wasn't motivated to decorate. Um, I just didn't want to be there. And I wanted to leave everything the way that it was. And you guys know that's been with me for a long time. You guys know when I move, I set up that same day. If it's not within that week, everything is set up. Everything is out of boxes. Everything is where it needs to be. And over here, I didn't have the space that I had at the high rise. So I was struggling with that. I got frustrated with that. I just was in a in a almost a depressed state of mind. You could say I was in a, in a depressed state of mind because, mind you, I lost my mom in May, so I had not fully. Um, gotten over that still haven't gotten over that but that was fresh during this time that was fresh and it, it just seemed like everything was coming at me at, uh, all at one time and I was just like father what 
are you doing to me? What are you doing to me? And through those messages, I realized he said, I'm setting you up for your next blessing. If you let me, if you let me, get out the way. That plaque that I have, you guys remember, it says, be still and know that I am God. And that's what I had to do. I had to be still and let him be God. Let him do what he does best. He made me. So he made me. He made my story. He know my story. He made my path. He know what path I was going to take. All everything that I went through was not a surprise to him. It was a surprise to me. <laughs> it was a surprise to me. He already knew. Okay? He already knew what was getting ready to go down. So I had to be still and let him do what he do. I had to finally, I, I snapped out of it. And I can't tell you really the point when I really just snapped out of it and got motivated and started getting the house together. Um, it could have been when, because the twins are born now, um, it could have been um, maybe before they were born, but truly, um, I, I really got motivated after um, they were born. So I'm going to start um, uploading those videos. It may be just one big video um, because I did not go room by room as far as how I got everything together. So I think what it's going to end up being is just a before video of what it looked like and then um, the after of from when I decorated and just got kind of got everything in order. So y'all stay out on stay on the lookout for that. Make sure you are subscribed if you guys aren't already. That's coming through. That's new. Um, also make sure um, that you click that notification bell so that you are privy to uh, the alert of when I upload a new video so you guys don't miss that and yeah I mean it, it was a it was a journey I had to go through it wasn't an easy journey I'm still on the journey because this is not the end spot uh, for us so stay tuned and see what's up next it's a year lease, of course, so I'll, I'll serve out the year lease. And, um, yeah, just to kind of take y'all along. I uh, probably won't do vlogging because I, I feel like I'm not real good at vlogging. So I may, you know, do the makeup videos. I'll do the makeup videos and then maybe put in some clips of, you know, things about the house or whatever. You know, I think I do my best chitter chatter when I'm sitting down doing the makeup. If I have to sit uh, like at the kitchen table or something like that and talk to you guys, um, I don't know. It just said it don't come out right. Something happens. I don't know what happens, but something happens. Um, and it's not what I want to come across. So I want you guys to see my personality. Feel me. Feel my heart. Feel the love that I have for you guys. Um, I want that to come through each video. So 
I'm trying to find the best way to, because I do like doing the vlogs. I do like doing the vlogs. It's just, I guess I'm not comfortable enough yet, which is crazy because I've been doing YouTube for, uh, I think, 11 years now, y'all. Um, but when it comes to that vlogging, I, mm, that ain't what it do, sis. I'm just being real. In, in my opinion. Now y'all might have a different opinion than uh what I see because I'm a I'm a, my hardest critic. And I will uh tear me apart in a minute, okay? So I can do better. You know what I mean? So you guys let me know down there in the comments. I wanna do a live. I wanna do my first live. And just have that thing set up where you guys can ask me whatever questions you want to ask me. Um, just so we can connect more. I want y'all to know more about me. Um, and all that good stuff. So, I'm here for it. I'm here for everything. Alright? So, whatever you want, I'm going to do it for you, baby. I want to do it for you, baby. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Let me get off this phone because I'm getting ready to get in the meat of the traffic. And I don't want to be on here jibber-jabbering and uh, have to deal with these crazy fools and how they drive over here on 75. Whoo! All the way live. Y'all know I was doing it. Y'all heard them. Y'all heard them bars. Anyway, I love you and I'll talk to you guys soon. And stay fancy, stay positive, stay faithful to God, stay in the meat of the word, stay in there, stay in there, stay in there, stay in there. You won't be sorry. And as always, stay fancy, 